Hi and welcome to July's update. Uh, Join us on a bit of a, an overcast day. But that's good because actually going into the tunnel, do a bit of work and a bit of chat, a lot, a lot easier. So I tend to go in the tunnels when they're uh, a bit of cloud cover, it makes it a lot cooler. As you see, we've got our uh, friendship plants outside again. Help to attract the bugs and the bees in and everything like the pollinators, so that's good. So let's not hang about, let's get inside and let's see what we've got for this July. Come on. Hi, right, so we're now inside and I think you can see there's just a whole pepper of green growth around. It's only been four weeks and it is amazing what happens in four weeks. All we've done is we fed them on a daily basis, we've watered them, uh, we use a uh, fertiliser, sometimes we use like a seaweed based fertiliser or we use a well known sort of a uh, uh, tomorite, um, it, it works absolutely fine, we use it on our tomatoes, we use it on our chilli plants and it actually works fine. So guys, girls, I hope your plants are really really going well, just please share with your photos and everything like that. So. You know, as I said before, we've got some really unusual uh, chilies in here this year. We've got a selection. We didn't grow these from seeds, so the, you know, remember that last time? We've actually purchased all our plants from uh, um, plant suppliers all, all around the UK. Um, this one's an interesting one. This is um, the uh, the Beaver Dam. So big old chilies. Looks like a bit of sun burning on there, but these are I'm looking at the size of these. These are gonna be really, really sweet. So we're going to be looking forward on the old barbecue for. Uh, getting them on the barbecue and everything like that. Super chilli always start the show. Look at it, you know, we've got loads of red chilies coming out. So it's gonna be nice, little bit of dead leaf there, hey ho. Um, really, really uh, good growing, prolific in pods, really great for cooking. The, the plant, I mean, look, look at this, look. This bad boy, already up to my shoulder, okay? So this one is the Espelette. Now, these are great. Absolutely great. Look, look at these pods on here. So we've already got some really nice healthy pods. So they're gonna start turning. I think probably in the next few weeks we're gonna start seeing a lot, a lot of our chilies start to turn, get a lot more colour. We've got a few around that have started changing colour. Um, we've had a bit of an aphid problem. We're starting to just we might get some little bugs in there and actually buy some bugs and get them in there, but we'll talk about that. Now a lot of, a lot of people you've been leaving comments which is absolutely great. Um, pollination and about flower drop. A lot of people have been suffering flower drop. Now this can happen for a number of reasons. One, one of the major reasons is that your plant is suffering. So whether it's had uh, a dry spell, you've not watered and it's wilted and you start noting all the uh, uh, flowers dropping off. Also pollination. If you've got your plants inside and they're not getting pollinated, either the bugs are not getting in there and they're not getting pollinated, then what will happen is you, your flowers will just drop off and you won't get any pods. Obviously the pods come from the flowers. So one of the, one of the things that I like, um, if, if you're having this problem, is it's basically artificial chili sex, as I call it. So um, what we do is you can do it a number of ways. You can sort of like grab the plant, give it a good old shake. Um, that will aggravate and uh, stimulate the pollen to um, off the stamen. Another one if we do, so if you want to come, come in a little bit then, then so, so to the camera lady again today. So another way of doing it, hopefully you might be able to see a bit, is I just get my finger, just tickle, look at that, look. Look at that, all right? So there's loads of pollen. Just give it a rub there, round to the next one, give it a little tickle, little tickle, yeah, and your pollination. Now, obviously with that pollen on that finger, I don't want to be going to another plant and tickling it. Bees love pollen, I love pollen. So just do it to one plant, give it a little thing. And another way, a simple way, if you've got loads and loads, is just give it, just, just get your hand, just go shake, shake through it. And that's enough to stimulate plants and the flowers and help the, the, the pollen sort of drift around. Now, we've got a ring of fire here. This is a, a cracking one. It's, you know, some people ask us, you know, why are we just growing all these sort of chilies? Now, you know, we like to grow interesting ones, but we like to grow ones that are readily and easily available to you guys out there, that you'd be able to find them easy on the internet from a good source dealer, that uh, source dealer, seed dealer. But they're great, they're absolutely uh, prolific. That's another one from Matt Simpson. We've got one down there from the uh, Dartmoor South Devon Chili Farm, actually. Get me wrong. I remember this one, we've got goat horn. In fact, this, this one was goat horn. So uh, we've got a few goat horn here, which is another interesting, it's a little tiny chili. I don't think uh, we should be able to find some. So yeah, we've got, we've got some little goat horns coming up. So that doesn't look like a goat horn to me. All right, so there might be a bit of cross-pollination to there. Little goat horns, a little sort of like little crinkly ones. 
classic, we've got some padrons in here, so they're going to go great on the barbecue, really soft. So it's not all about the heat and everything. Now, average temperatures in here at the moment, we're sort of averaging around about 35 degrees Celsius, which is way over in Fahrenheit, under something. Um, someone will tell me because they've just put on the comments. You'll also notice that we've staked out the plants as well. This is something that we showed you last year. We always stake out the plants and you see that we've got um, just um, your normal canes strapped in, going straight through the plant. And that means then we can support the plant because obviously once it starts podding, the plants will start trying to wait out and you can get uh, damages on uh, breaks and things like that off the, off the branches. It gives us a frame. So that, you know, is pretty old sturdy. You'll also notice this on the top. This again is um, something really easy. You can put paper cups on there. This is basically just to, you know, bend over. You're not going to poke your eye out, you know. So that's just like that. So it's quite simple. You can use a ping pong ball. We've used ping pong balls in the past. We've used all sorts. But it's just something visual that's not going to go. There's a lot of people have accidents with those. So you know, as you can see, uh, hopefully Sophie might be able to go back a little bit. Okay, but it's. Already, you see the plants are up to my chest. It's only July, so we've still got a good few months growing season here in the UK. And hopefully, next month, um, there's gonna be a whole loads and loads of color. Lots more color, lots more gray. I think that this one's gonna be right up here. So it'd be quite interesting to see what this is next month. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Any questions, just wang them below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and take care and show us your pics. Thank you very much. Take care.